I'll be honest, I've looked at the schedule a couple times and waffled between either a, an eight-win team or, again, 12 wins because it feels like their schedule it's is dependent on... It's a wide waffle. I know, because like it, it, it's, some of them, the road games are... are are, aren't as tough as I thought they would be, and they're getting like the Niners off a of bye week, for instance, so there's at least a chance that they could pull one out of the hat on that. I, 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 I'm <laughs> Claire's saying, Claire's saying, saying no. Claire's saying no. But I, I'm <laughs> saying like there, there's enough interesting topics to get, d- dive into, so I'm curious, Mike, we'll start with you. Where do you think fans should look at for a realistic record for this season? I think they're still good. I, like, I, I think we have chicken littled our way into thinking that this team's going to be terrible. Right. They're not going to be terrible. There's still plenty of talent on the roster. They're still a good football team. But I think the reason why Cowboys fans have been so despondent over the course of this offseason is there's nothing to point to that makes you go, okay, that made them better than they were last year so that you've got hope that it's going to be a better season. There's nothing there. Uh, Dalvin Cook and Eric Kendricks, I, like, I, I like both of those additions a little bit, but not enough to make you feel like this is going to be a better football team. I do still think there's talent there. I think their defense could be as good as it was last year, plugging in Trayvon Diggs in place of Stephon Gilmore. Diggs is the big the, one to The Duran Bland of it all concerns right. me. I think they're a 10-win team. I think they're still good, but they're not as good as they've been the last couple of years. So double digits over here. Clarence, what do you think? Yeah, I'm, I'm at 10 wins, maybe 11, maybe 9, depending on the day. But, um, you know, I, I, I look at the schedule, and I think a lot will be said about this team in the first month Month and a half of the season. Understand, they started Cleveland. They also have Pittsburgh. They also have Baltimore. They also have Detroit. They also have at San Francisco. And you say it's coming up to buy, but consider all those teams they play before October 13th. You know, that's a tough gauntlet before October 13th. And you, and you mix in the Giants, and you mix in the Saints. But that's a tough gauntlet before October 13th. So we'll find out, out a lot about this team. Of course, the goal is to play your best at the end. Not at the beginning, at least for, for this Cowboys team, which hasn't always played their best football to play us when it matters most. But I still think they have the best quarterback in the NFCs, the best receiver in the NFCs, the best pass rush in the NFCs, the two best guards in the NFCs, and certainly with DeRon Bland, the best quarterback tandem in the NFCs. And Zimmer, I think, will make a difference for that defense. So this, this is the playoff team. Again, once you get to the playoffs, it's pot luck with the Cowboys, as it's always been. So what do you think? For me, it's between 10 and 12 wins. And to y'all's point, like, this is still a very good roster. And I think we lose sight of that a little bit because of the order of the, that the Cowboys do business. There's Linval Joseph coming in, Dalvin Cook, Carl Lawson. I know he's on the practice squad, but was a late signing. They signed all these guys in training camp, whereas most people are looking for these signings to come in free agency. Hmm. But at the end of the day, these, they, they did make moves to you know compensate for some of the losses that they had in free agency and Tyler Guyton and Cooper Beebe look really good Kalen Carson Marshawn Nealon like they ha- it looks like they're going to get something from this rookie class so for all those reasons I think 10 to 12 wins anywhere in that as long as the quarterback is healthy and and the pass rusher is healthy I think those two things are, are the most important thing so where are you on your waffle I, I think I'm closer to 12 wins, and I think Clarence is right that the first – I'm looking at the first four games as kind of the barometer, where last year they tripped on the, on the Cardinals in week three, but starting with the, the, the Browns on the road, sure, but Deshaun Watson's one of the biggest question marks in the NFL, and your defense should feast on him considering the turnover rate he had last year. The Steelers are a question mark at quarterback, and the Saints, I think everyone's kind of – feeling like they're at the bottom of the league. So you're at least thinking three and one, hopefully, depending on what happens with the Ravens. But if you're three and one to start, I feel like you're in a good spot. If you're two and two and you start, you know, stumbling a little bit out the gate, that's when things get hairy. And then I think you're probably closer to 10, even nine wins. Cleveland is very good at home. Right. You look at last year, they are a different team at home than on the road. So, yeah, you can say about Deshaun Watson, that's a tough team at home. Hmm. Especially defensively. And But that's also kind of the question is – well, CD coming off of no training camp, and we like to overrate training camp's importance on the season on some level, but how much will how much rust will he have? How much rust will this offense have out of the gates? Because they were finally on all cylinders late, but they started kind of sluggish early last year. First three or four games, we were kind of waiting to see things pick up, and I think it was right around the Patriots game when they really started putting the pedal to the metal. Yeah, I have no concerns about the offense. You know, and I, I think that Dak Prescott has done a good job moving the ball without CD in training camp. You add him to to the mix. I mean, Tobin is ready for it to take a step, but Brandon Cook has had a great camp. My biggest concern, at least starting out, is the run defense. And, and you, you know, mm. you have to stop the run against Cleveland. 